Okay, let's see the properties of primes, okay, co-primes for their HCF and LCF. Now, what are co-primes? Co-primes are basically two numbers who do not have any common factor other than one. Okay, so let's take two co-primes. Let's take four and five for the purpose of this particular exercise. Now the property says that the HCF or the highest common factors of two co-primes is 1. Well, sounds strange. But it's also true in some sense. I mean, the very property of a co-prime is that these numbers don't have any common factor. Right? Other than 1. If that be the case, HCF is what? The highest common factor? If the only factor that these two have is 1, then this is obviously going to be the highest common factor, right? Let's see. So let's divide 5 by 4 into 1, 4, 1 is the remainder, right? Now because there is a remainder, so you make the divisor as the number, so you put 4 here, 1 into 4 gives you 4 remainder becomes 0. So, the HCF is 1. And this is true for any set of co-prime numbers. Should we take another example? So, what are the two numbers that you would like to take? Let's take maybe 8 and 15. Okay. Again, what is the common factor between two numbers? Well, they are not divisible by 2, they are not divisible by 3, the only common factor for them is 1, right? So let's see what is the HCF, we divide 15 by 8 into 1, 8, 15 minus 8 gives us 7, now 7, so we divide the divisor by this number, 1, 7, 1, well, again a remainder, so we divide this 7 by 1. 1 into 7 gives you 7, hence this is 0. So the HCF again is 1. And hence this property that the HCF of 2 co-prime is 1. Now, what is the other property? It says LCM of 2 co-primes is equal to their product. Let's find out. Let's take these numbers only, 4 and 5. Let's divide this by 2. So, you get 2 here and 5 here. Again by 2, 1, 5. Again by 5, 1, 1. I've taken the LCM very quickly, right? But you can kind of do it at your ease and will. Let me explain this to you. I guess it was a little bit too fast. So, we divide both these numbers by 2. So, you, when 4 is divided by 2, you get 2 because 5 is not divisible by 2. So, we write down it as it is. Again by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 5 divided by 2, it does not go. So, I carry back 5. 5. Because this is 1, I do not do anything. I just carry it like this. 5 divided by 5 gives me 1. Both of them are 1. So, the LCM of these two numbers is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 or you can also write this as 4 into 5. But 4 and 5 happen to be the two numbers for which we are finding the LCM, right? And hence this equation holds true that the LCM of two co-primes is equal to their products. Similarly, find out the LCM of 8 and 15. I am just leaving this for you guys, but you will be surprised to know that it will be 8 into 15 only. The numbers you get will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, when you compute the LCM, it is going to be something like this. When you club these 3 to, it gets you 8. 3 into 5 will give you 15. Work this out for yourself. 
If you like this video, please click the hit like button at the bottom. And if you want to share it with your friends, so as to help us to create an educated world, please do so by hitting the share button below this. Thank you very much and have a very happy learning.